What's up guys, I'm Suman from Phone Steam. So, Mac Mini. So, this is, uh, say, the entry-level Mac that most people tend to buy when they move from Windows to a Mac PC. So, this is, uh, say, a somewhat like kind of a budget Mac that you can get for a low price with full-fledged Mac features. So, Apple recently announced the Mac Mini 2014. So, let's see if this Mac Mini is really worth the upgrade. So I'm going to be comparing this with the late 2012 Mac Mini. So let us start off from the specs or say something like that. The Mac Mini 2012 and 2014 both have Intel Core processors, but the architecture is different. The 2012 has an Ivy Bridge processor, and the 2014 model has an Haswell processor. So now I'll be comparing both. So let's see whether this upgrade is actually worth the price. So the Mac Mini 2012. So this has say i think two models the anticore i5 and i7 so in i7 you get the quad core version as well but in 2014's mac mini model you don't have uh, the option for a quad core i7 or say the server model is stopped so from this uh, we get a loss in cores not uh, actually cores matter so exporting videos will be little slow even though it has an Haswell architecture so enough about the architectures so let's go into the price to the spec comparison so let's take the second version of the Mac mini 2014 so which is in between the highest and lowest 10 with the clock speed in between both so let's take that for instance and if you take a look at that for an Intel Core i5 model which is clocked at 2.6 gigs you need to pay $699 so that's just a dual Core i5 model and with 8 gigs of RAM so if you bump up processor to an i7 you are going to pay say around thousand dollars and if you bump the RAM to 16 gigs you are going to be paying around thousand hundred ninety nine dollars so that's a way lot of money that you're going to pay for your Mac mini so if you take a look at the highest end of the Mac mini 2014 so if you take a look at the base with what you get, the highest end it's a dual core i5 clocked at 2.8 gigs. And if you want to bump it up, the maximum is a dual core Intel Core i7. So for the i5, you are gonna pay thousand dollars, and for the i7, you are gonna pay thousand one ninety nine dollars. So this is even more, even more huge and if you bump the ram to 16 gigs you are going to get the mac mini for 1300 dollars so that's actually really costly for the price where you can buy a macbook pro or say for instance the high end or say somewhat like that macbook air and if you take a look at the mac mini 2012 so it's priced around uh, say uh, 600 to 700 dollars so that's the price of the mid-range-ish 2014 Mac Mini and for the quad-core Intel Core i7 this is the price and since the Mac Mini 2014 doesn't have a removable backplate it's a disadvantage but the 2012 version has the removable backplates so that's a great advantage. All you need to do is just remove back plate and there you go. Upgrade the RAM up to 32 gigs or say 16 gigs. So 16 gigs is actually far fine. And all you're 
going to spend is around say $200 or somewhat just like that. So for $800 or within that you can upgrade your Mac Mini 2012 with 16 gigs of RAM and with the quad core i7 you are going to get a beastly performance so when you take it in the performance wise after upgrading each you are going to get somewhat the same amount of performance but look at the price you're going to pay a whooping lot for your mac mini 2014 where you can reduce the cost for your mac mini 2012 by a lot so what do you think will you get the mac mini 2014 or you're planning to upgrade your mac mini 2012 so guys if you like this video please be sure to hit a thumbs up this helped me a lot and if you have any queries on uh, about the mac mini specs or anything of those sorts or any other tech you can let me know or leave a comment in the comment section right below and if you want to check out a video uh, where I compare the Mac Mini versus the iMac, that will be in the link right below in the description box. So this is Simon once again signing off and peace.